Good morning, everybody. Lee Brower here, and welcome to this week's edition of Meaningful Monday. I am grateful to be here, and I am glad to be here. Imagine craving a number two in an in and out burger with a giant lemonade and getting to the drive through and nobody's there. Recently, I just finished walking a spread out, hilly, 18 holes round of golf in almost 100 degree heat and a giant fresh strawberry lemonade and a number two with grilled onions was calling my name. I rushed, rushed to the nearest in and out Burger and what did I see when I got there? Nobody, nada, nothing except a couple of signs saying closed. What? I couldn't believe it. So I Googled it. And on the Inc. Daily News, I found a statement. I wrote it down in my book, and this is what it says. At in and out Burgers, we have always served the highest quality of food with no compromise. We recently discovered that our buns in certain locations do not meet the quality standards that we demand. There was and are no food safety concerns. We decided to close approximately 40 stores in those areas until we are confident we can serve our normal high quality buns. We apologize for any inconvenience this closure may have caused to our customers. Okay, wait, was it the consistency, the shape, the size, the color? I mean, couldn't they have gone out and borrowed some from IHOP? I know IHOP's buns are pretty good. But if you're a brand that depends on a certain quality, your customers will notice if you give them something just a little bit shoddy. in and out is fully committed to their principles. And that takes character. President Theodore Roosevelt said, character in the long run is the decisive factor in the life of an individual and of nations alike. And I dare say, in business. Much before that, in 1835, Alexis de Tocqueville wrote, America is great because she's good. But if America ever ceases to be good, sure. America will cease to be great. And as a sidebar, Alexis of Tocqueville also wrote, there are many men of principle in both parties in America, he's talking about, but there is no party of principle. Are we losing the good? Today in America, there are far too many 12-year-olds pushing drugs, 14-year-olds having babies, 16-year-olds killing each other, and young people of all ages, of all ages, admitting to lying, cheating, and stealing at epidemic numbers. Crime and violence is everywhere, as well as unethical behavior in business, the professions, and in government. In other words, we have a crisis of character all across America that is threatening to destroy the goodness, which as de Tocqueville put it, is the very foundation of our greatness. The answer to this crisis is getting back to the virtues of good character in every part of this great nation. But what is good character? Let's keep it simple. How about character is knowing the good, desiring the good, and doing the good. Knowing it, the head, desiring it, the heart, and doing it, the hands. Aristotle said that virtues are not mere thoughts. They are habits that we acquire by performing virtuous actions. Therefore, to build character, a person must not only know the good, but also desire the good, and just as importantly, do the good over and over again until it becomes a habit. If you want to help this good country stay good, then it starts with you, it starts with me. An essential component of the Empowered Wealth Mindset and a practice that we encourage is to identify actions from our past that are based upon virtuous principles in our personal and in our professional lives. It's called evidence. Principles without evidence are worth nothing. Virtuous principles adhered to, especially in the toughest of times, determine good character. 
I mean, why do so many people love In-N-Out Burger? Because you can trust them. You know what they stand for and their decisions are based upon virtuous principles. And that is always providing the highest quality of food and service with no compromise. When you know your principles and you fully desire them, it becomes a very easy decision to have the character to act upon them. What can you be counted on to always do, no matter what? Take the time, take the time, and begin identifying what good do you, does your family, and your business or profession stand for? And then protect that good with character, excuse me, protect that good with character, with character-backed decision-making. Thank you for taking the time to listen and share this week's message. Make life meaningful. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.